I was feeling very alone. I was crying all the time. It was just like an endless tunnel and I just thought I would never ever get out of it. I was having really bad thoughts, like uh, feeling very worthless and what was the point of me being here? I'd been seeing Sharon for a good couple of years with quite complex physical and psychological health problems. And I think the whole combination of those was really having a bad effect on her life. Um, and despite trials with normal antidepressant therapies and counselling, we weren't really making any progress. Sharon seemed like the ideal patient to benefit from a holistic approach. I got a referral off Dr Slade asking me to go out and review Sharon. She had a lot of pain with the condition, um, which this was impacting on her independence. We developed a management plan together. The first issue was getting her pain controlled. This was done in conjunction with Dr Slade. The second element was to get a mental health stable. And then thirdly was to get involved in the community setting so she wasn't isolated. We had our multidisciplinary team meeting the following Tuesday where Sharon was discussed um, to see what we could do as a team to help her. The physiotherapist came out and she gave me exercises to do. Occupational therapy got me things to help me, like in and out of the bath. To help with her mental health, we referred her on to the health and wellbeing trainer. It's an assessment, first of all, and also getting to know the patient as well. The medical professionals who go into a house, they don't sometimes have the time, but the health and wellbeing trainer can listen and we can get the person back into independence, really. I was introduced to different social clubs. There are like-minded people here, people that have had depression, people that find it really hard to meet other people. Some draw, some pain. It's really good. Because if you're feeling a bit glum or down, um, they'll soon lift you and you go home feeling miles better. This holistic care has really given her the skills, I think, to, to manage her own conditions better. She comes into my room now with a smile on her face. This journey has been one of realisation that there are people out there to help you. I didn't think that I would feel this way and thanks to the hard work, they gave me my life back. <laughs>